Good morning, everybody. So I'm here with the catnip bandit. I'm about to do my Easter basket unboxing from the Easter Bunny. Here it is. How delightful is this? He put this together yesterday. I swear I did not because this honestly kind of looks like a woman arranged it. I was merely supervising. Can you confirm that you actually did this all, I did. all on your own? Okay. Because I, I feel like it's, I it, it, it looks too. a little too... No, I set it up. I did a good job. Yeah, but it looks a little too... Per it looks like I did it. You wish you could do something like this. <laughs> so I'm going to do an Easter basket haul. So I think I got about 100 new seeds. Okay. So I'm going to go through those right now. So I got some Cosmos. These were 20 cents. You're not going to eat these cross tabs, are you? No. Marigolds. I wanted to get more marigolds because, like I said, they're recommended to be planted around everything. Nasturtiums. Can you move? Uh, I got asparagus because we do eat a lot of asparagus. More marigolds, 20 cents. Then I got these marigolds. I forgot to put the other seeds back. I got California poppies because they look really beautiful. So yeah. I got some Italian flat leaf pars or yeah, large leaf parsley. I got some oregano. I got some sage. I got some, I don't remember getting these, beans. I got some romaine lettuce, and then I got mint. So quite a few seeds. Um, I do want to put a lot of the herbs especially. I want to plant those either today or tomorrow. So these are actually vegan caramels. So freaking good. Anyway, um, then I got some, this is my number one thing I wanted in my Easter basket. I mean, Easter baskets are kind of getting out of control, I'll be honest. But he was buying, so I was saying put it in the cart. Anyway, um, strawberry, liquid IV, that's what I love. And then he got me some expert gardener gloves. I said, I already have gardening gloves, he said, I don't care. So then I got this um, hose. I needed a hose, you know, for my plants and there's like a misting, there's a cone, full shower, yeah, all that stuff. He also got me a gardening shovel, trowel. He got me a Dr. Pepper t-shirt, which actually, this is a fun fact about me, if anyone is playing trivia for how well do you know me, okay? Which you should be playing every day like a wordle. The doctor that delivered me in the hospital was named Dr. Pepper. And when I was born, he gave out shirts that said, I'm a pepper. I have long history, deep, deep, deep ties to Dr. Pepper. So I need to put this on today. Always one of a kind. Then I have two last things. These are Harry Potter themed, Harry Potter related. So, um, unofficial Harry Potter guide, okay? Ultimate 2024 fan guide. And I feel like it was just fitting because just finished the books. And I honestly consider, I'm like, should I just start reading it again? Because I love it that much and I want to stay in that world as long as possible. Anyway. And then the final thing I got is this Dumbledore. It's called an Itty, Itty Bitties. Dumbledore Itty Bitty. One of my fave characters. Alrighty, I'm out here in the greenhouse. <laughs> The greenhouse and my father-in-law had a great idea because i need to transfer the stuff immediately wait till you see my squash seeds okay it's like i should have transferred these a while ago or he suggested that maybe putting them in like solo cups would be a good idea so i got these clear ones from kroger because so i could maybe be able to see like the roots or something like that and i'm going to transfer them into these cups so are you ready to see this oh lord <laughs> yeah these are a little out of control and they're starting to grow their first set of true leaves. So usually, I think, just based on what I've said, I mean, like I said, these are ready. These should have been transferred. Look how tall that one is. But these should have been transferred a while ago. But usually when they have their first set of true leaves is when you know that they're ready to be transferred. By the way, this is so exciting because this gladulus is supposed to be a summer bloom and it's already sprouting. So I'm very excited. And I have two more over here, but for some reason these have not poked through yet. But this popped up today. It's so crazy, like you come out here and it just changes <laughs> day by day. But these are gonna go in crazy too. I'm gonna have to move these. These are wildflowers. I don't even know what I'm gonna do about all this stuff. So anyway, this is how, let me just give you an update. So these are tomatoes. I don't remember what kind of tomato. These are the carrots, which I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. This is literally like 50 carrots in one thing. <sighs> anyway, jalapeno just popped up today. As of today, it popped up, so I'm very excited about that. These are 
uh, broccoli. So these are getting crazy, so I'm gonna have to cull some of those. This is interesting. So this is um, tomato, but nothing in this cell you know, column has grown. And I think what, what the thing is, that happened was, is I think I forgot to plant something in this row. I think I just accidentally forgot because that doesn't make any sense because these seeds are fine. They're the same kind of seeds. Nothing grew. These are Roma tomatoes. Everything so far has germinated except for this cell, which might still pop up. These are white onions, so some stuff is popping up still. And then rainbow carrots and then eggplant. So every single one has germinated, which is good. And then I had to move these over here. I had quite a scare this morning. So this is my dill and luckily it's popped back up, but I came out here today and everything in here was looking so bad and it had just kind of like f just fell over because it was so dry, like everything in here was so dry. So anyway, I think I've saved it. We should be good. This lettuce though is not looking that great. And this, they're not very strong. The good news is that I could just use, I only need like one or two. So, and then here's some lettuce, which I need to transplant um, pretty soon. And then let me just give you the updates over here. This is some tomato as well, basil, marigolds are looking really, really good. So I need to probably transfer those. And then this, this is actually sunflower that's going way too crazy. The cucumber is going way too crazy. Cilantro is starting to pop up, still nothing from that. Yeah, they're all looking pretty good, and this one just popped up the other day. And then I set these over here under the heat mats and the lights. So the ones I did yesterday, and then um, here's this one, which is not too, too exciting yet. So anyway, I've come out here now to upplant some things. And I know I've been talking about this for what seems like forever at this point. But yes, I'm going to upplant. And I also did see a lot of comments and I have seen this many times as well. And I agree with you and I'm going to do this. I originally was going to maybe think about putting my mint in the raised garden beds. I'm not doing that because I heard it's extremely prolific and it will spread. And it's basically, what's the word? When you, it's like not in Infesting. Oh, I can't think of the word. It's bad. It just it just infests itself everywhere. So I'm not doing that. I'm gonna put it in its own pot. Don't worry. So I am gonna start those seeds because Jarvis does said said he does want mint. I did end up planting some parsley along this row this morning. All right, let's do this. By the way, I know you're not supposed to plant stuff in clear containers, but I just wanted to show you what my plan is. So obviously. When you plant stuff, you need it to be able to drain. So what I'm doing and why I'm planting this in a clear container is I'm taking this little tool. I don't know what this is, but it's a craftsman tool. And I'm just taking this in the bottom. In all of these, I put a hole in all of them just so they could drain at the bottom. You can put a couple. And then what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna double this up because I also have black Solo cups. So I'm doubling it up. So the reason why I wanted to go with the clear <laughs> is because wanted to be able to see the roots and just check on everything and kind of know when is it ready to be you know really transplanted so i am going to double them up with black solo cups so the roots are not exposed because i know that that they don't like that they like cold dark wet
everybody. Well, I have been in here for hours, it feels like. I just transplanted all of my seeds. Seeds, duh. But my squash. So let's take a look at that. So, I mean, these are looking fantastic. So I hope that they survive the transport. They are looking, they look like cartoon. <laughs> they look like kind of, you know, like when you play video games and things and you plant stuff and it's like, like it looks like Animal Crossing kind of. <laughs> really really exciting okay so i just watered them everything's all good with that i did go through and i thinned these out and this is a tray that i actually did really well but i just went through and i thinned them out to just one seedling so that's what i did over here everything's looking good and then i do have two more over here oh i need to water these i have two more over here and i also have mint over here as well that I planted. I really want to save these. I don't want them to go to waste. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try to plant them outside because they are a cold weather crop. I guess I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. I'm going to have to start selling it or giving them away, but I don't, I can't give my plants away. I'm too attached now. Truly. And then I did thin out some more over here, this lettuce. This is kind of a disaster, this tray. Um, but I did also transplant some of the dill. So you'll see in the back over here, I transplanted the dill into the back area so I hope that that grows and then I transplanted some carrots just in a row which this will be nice actually because it kind of sections off the raised bed it's looking good but I have all of these look at this look at all of these carrots oh my god so what I ended up doing is I took this little bamboo skewer and I was using this to, first of all, like pick apart the carrot seedlings. And then I went like this and just did a hole really far down. And then I kind of used this to like gently push them in. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'm gonna go plant some other ones right now. By the way, I plan on reusing those solo cups over and over again. They're not gonna go to waste. Okay, so <laughs> just feel like I need to mention that in case somebody out there is thinking that I won't because I will. So I just plan to use those instead of buying like, those trays are kind of expensive though. Ones that are like slightly bigger than the cells that I was using. They're just kind of like expensive. I'm like, no, don't want to do that. <laughs> so I right now I'm going to take my carrots and I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment. I think I'm going to plant them over outside actually, kind of over by like the fence area. I'm just going to plant them over there and see what happens and uh, just do a little testing experiment. Wish me luck, I'm gonna go out there right now. All right, everybody. Well, I've been outside for so long, just gardening away, and it's been a blast. So I really, really hope that my carrots will take. I've learned my lesson once again, learning every day, sharing my woes with you, but I definitely will not do starters. I won't start my carrots probably ever again in seed starters like I won't start it outside of where I want to plant it so if I plant it in the ground I'm just gonna plant it right away into the ground I'm not gonna do seed starting kits for those specifically because it's just too difficult in my opinion to and you know no not doing that again so anyway I hope that those take I really hope also that my dill takes so I don't know if it's too early or whatever happened but I am kind of a little nervous about them but we'll see and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Oh well, I don't really use dill that much anyway. And I can buy carrots at the grocery store. So anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.